Terry, let me start by vigorously refuting the notion that native advertising has to erode consumer trust or compromise the wall that exists between editorial and advertising. I would argue that good native advertising respects the independence and the sanctity of journalism and at the same time really kind of puts the onus on a reader to decide do I want to engage with a marketer's content or not? And I'm going to say that in a different way, which is to say good native advertising is just not meant to be trickery. It's meant to be publisher sharing its, its storytelling tools with a marketer. And so I think the real question that you mean to be asking me is how can a publisher who is sharing their storytelling tool set with a marketer maintain consumer trust and maybe even extend it? And I'm going to say the first way that they have to do that is by holding the marketers who tell stories on their platforms to the same standards that consumers hold them to. And, and those trust standards, I think, are very simply based on three things. Tell the truth, be transparent about who's telling it, and add value to the conversation. So I, I want to break those three things down very quickly. What does truth mean in the context of editorial? I think simply it means getting to the consumer with the best possible information available on a topic, and ideally doing so with experts on the ground very close to the source of where that news is happening. What I'm not suggesting, I know you'll come back at me with this, that, that marketers should become investigative journalists, but what I am suggesting is that marketers, many of them, have deep domain expertise very close to where the center of where a story is happening, and they can use that. The next issue is transparency, and by that I mean something very, very simple, and that is unambiguous disclosure. We meant to be unambiguous in naming the New York Times native platform paid post, no room for confusion. Also, no room for confusion in paid for and posted by, fill in the blank client, Dell in this case. So we think that really matters. We think unambiguous disclosure isn't just about labeling, it's also about who are the storytellers. And we think for publishers who don't want to erode trust, what you have to do is keep your news organization entirely separate from what you do for marketers. Truth matters, transparency matters. Last one of these I think is the most important, and that is value. If a brand is going to publish on a venerable site like The Times or BuzzFeed or Forbes, any of the other great native players out there, they really have to do something that informs the consumer, that entertains them, that tells them something that they don't know. So what is good native advertising going to do? I think it's going to do three things. It's a better business model for publishers, which helps us keep our editorial independence. It can make brands matter more as experts in the world. And last but not least, I think it gives consumers more of they want, which is rich content.